Dad just cracked into this two pounder for the first fish on the new boat. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And as you guys can see in the last video, I put a little teaser at the end and uh, yeah. Yeah, Dad's, Dad's boat isn't purple. But this one is, this one's purple. Dad, Dad <laughs> got three, well, we, we would have three boats in the driveway. Unfortunately, mine's back in the shop because it blew an ejector, but I'm getting that fixed right now. We, sh we would have three boats in the driveway, but we only have two. But today we're gonna be doing a brand new Triton TRX 20 Patriot review of the boat and it's freaking gorgeous. Look at this thing. Got some gray, some light gray, dark gray on some purple, super sick scheme. And uh, the most importantly, you got the big mama on the back. So guys, dad got a new boat. As you guys can see, we're gonna put this thing on the water, test it on the water, and hopefully catch the first fish out of it. And uh, yeah, actually, dad also um, sold one of his hummingbird units and got a Helix 15. So basically we're gonna be looking at a flat screen TV uh, of some fish. So uh, dad's boat, old boat right here, the Ranger 185. If you guys are wanting to buy it, or if you guys are interested in buying it, um, hit us up in the DMs on Instagram and uh, we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk price. So, but today we're gonna be reviewing this dude's new boat. And uh, yeah, I mean, this thing is sick. It's loaded, it's got the units, troll motor, everything, power poles, and most of all, most importantly, the Big Mama 250 on the back. So let's not waste any time. And Dad, let's get this thing on the water. Let's go. I've Show. been waiting. <laughs> We've had this thing sitting in the garage for like two weeks now. True that. So we're not gonna waste any time. As soon as we get on the water, we're gonna review this thing and show you guys what is on the boat and uh, what comes on it and everything that it features. So let's get out to the water. Let's go catch some fish, boys. Let's go. What's going on you guys, we made it to the lake. We got some good fishing clips coming up for you guys off of this boat, getting this boat broke in. But for now, we're gonna uh, do a full reveal, a full boat tour of dad's new boat. Dad, you have a unhealthy habit of getting a new boat. <laughs> nah, but I love it. Um, so let's show you guys, let's go over it. And uh, let's start from the front, show you guys this beast. So uh, up front we have a 45 inch shaft, Minn Kota Ultrex, 112 pound thrust. Now, dad bought a new Minn Kota and put it on his Ranger. So that one's a 52 inch shaft. And as you guys know, the longer the shaft, the more control it's gonna have for a bigger boat. So this is a 20 foot boat. It's a 2020 TRX Patriot Triton. And uh, yeah, so we're, dad's gonna switch the 52 inch shaft length Minn Kota from the Ranger over to this one. Um, to have better control of the bigger boat. Now this does a good job, but I mean, if you have a bigger light shaft length, you might as well. Plus so. it's newer. Yeah, newer. So we're just gonna switch that one back over to the Ranger when dad sells it. So uh, yeah, we got that going on. Um, front unit right here, we have a Humminbird Helix 12 Gen 4. As you guys know, we run Humminbird. Now this didn't come on it, the low rances came on it. We don't run low rance as you guys know. So all we did was just switch the units over. So, you know. So we're, so we're comfortable, we know what we're looking at on the grass. So uh, yeah, we got the Humminbird switched over. Um, I mean, as you guys know, obviously the foot pedal for the trolling motor, it's a spot lock trolling motor, gotta have spot lock for fishing these ledges. And uh, yeah. So as you guys can see, me and dad, we fit very comfortably up on this deck. And that's what I love about this boat is I could be standing on one side and dad can be standing on the other with fishing. Now on the old boat, when we have a bite, we'd be like, yo, watch out, watch out. And we'd hook set. On this one, you can just, you don't even have to say that. You can just hook set in whichever direction you want because you're not really gonna hit the person. This deck is huge. And I love, that's one of the things I love about this boat already is that the deck is huge on this thing. You can comfor comfortably fit three people up here, it's crazy. So that's, yeah, that's the crazy thing about this deck. 
So uh, yeah, let's show you guys the compartments up here on this front deck. All right, so let's show you guys the uh, compartments on this front deck. So we're gonna start off to the right. This is a rod locker, but right now we have it for all our storage stuff, for camera gear, tackle box, net, whatever we, well, whatever we need, um, whatever y'all need. Um, but yeah, this is tackle, this is tackle storage, miscellaneous stuff rods, whatever you need. My booster seat. Yeah, booster seat. <laughs> Short people problems, you know. So, uh, yeah, that's what's in that one. And uh, yeah, you can use it for whatever you'd like. Here in the middle compartment, we have all the rod storage you need. So, um, you have the, all the rod PVC pipes. We've got an umbrella in here because, you know, ledge fishing. If you guys know ledge fishing during the summertime, it's very hot and you need it to see your screens clearly. So. Yeah, you got uh, you could tackle, uh, tackle storage on the left side and the right side, um, in the middle too. Um, all the rods, you got one, what, how many you got? Five per, five up, five down, ten, ten rod storage. Probably, I mean, yeah, you can ten, probably 12. fit two, two each rod, so, yeah, so. Classic yeah. rod box, classic tackle, tackle storage box. Plenty, plenty of storage. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I mean, I could, I mean, I could, obviously, I could fit in there. I can fit myself in there so that's in that and then on this left side we have nothing but tack or nothing but a uh, rod storage which we only have one set up in there right now but yeah we could probably fit another you know 10 or 12 in there how many pipes you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven uh racks in there and like i said you could probably fit two rods per sleeve so yep, yep that's a completely dedicated rod storage and you could fit a lot of rods in there so that's it for there now in this middle compartment you probably you guys could probably guess it cooler you got a cooler this is the cooler on the trx 20 patriots tritons i actually love this a lot better because it's got that secondary shelf yeah for the sandwiches and stuff sandwiches and it actually holds ice a lot better so than the danger does yeah so yeah, so as Dad was saying, it's got this shelf right there. So you put sandwiches or chips or anything on it, so it doesn't get wet. Um, keeps your sandwiches dry but cool at the same time. Uh, ice goes down there. There's a plug at the very bottom, obviously. So if the ice melts and water gets in there, you can just unplug it and water will drain out. So yeah, pretty simple. Cooler, nice cooler. What was, was that, that? Holy crap! I wonder if that was a gator creeping on us. Do you think that was a gator creeping on us? <laughs> Holy crap. All right, guys, so um, as you guys know up front, um, you got some cup holders right here for easy access uh, drinking. And then obviously on the sides of the big boats, you got all your plier holders, your um, coal beam for tournaments, Triton coal beam, and, uh, and your scissor, your scissors uh, storming up here. So quick access to getting the fish on hook and quick access to cutting line. All right, so moving to the middle section of the boat, we got a little shelf right here for baits or sandwiches too. Anything that you just want to put right here. Um, it's so crazy, this boat has so many different storage. I know, it's weird. Options. That's what I really like. That's what I really like about this boat. It's got, like we're saying, it's got this little slide out compartment right here. We have a bunch of baits and hooks and stuff in it, whatever we need, line. That's a really cool little uh, you put your phone, keys, anything like that. Nice little storage. Also, as you guys can see, got some side uh, rod storage for uh, easy access tournaments, passenger side rod storage. And you got this little dip in here too. That you can put your phone or whatever you want in. Little cup holder right there for your drink. Sitting there sipping on some sweet tea or something. I don't know. Whatever you like to sip on. All right, you guys, moving along. We got the seats. I mean, first of all, this boat is like a dark gray and purple theme, which is really, I like it a lot. It's, it's a good color. It's, I like the purple. Good color scheme. Yeah. So the seats match, obviously. It's got the purple, purple accent with the gray. Seat is very comfortable, very comfortable. And uh, you sit up a good amount on the, uh, it seems like you sit really low because of how the boat's made, because this size really high. But you really sit, you know, decently high up. So um, as I'm sitting here, you got a middle storage right here, which is really cool for all your, you know, phones, glasses, dad, that don't go flying out the boat. You got your glasses, phone, anything you need, shirts, uh, tissues, whatever you want, money, 
keys. Make sure nothing goes flying out and you're not missing anything. So that's that for there. And you also got another little storage pocket right here. I think that's like a little trash can or yeah. like being used for like a little trash can. Something. But that's really cool. It's got a latch on it too. So it doesn't come, you know, flying open for no reason. You got some, obviously you got cup holders here. Easy, quick access for some drinks. See, and we got the dash right here. So this boat is not a stick shift. Um, it's a hot foot. And any, any of the big boats that have these big motors on them are gonna have hot foots. So obviously you got a hot foot to control the speed. Um, obviously you got your steam wheel here. So you, you know, just driving and steering. Um, you got all your uh, pump out, pump in, recirc, live well stuff right here. You got the timers for them to fresh, pump that fresh water in. You got your horn right here. Yep, it's uh, not turned on. It's not turned on. <laughs> it's that same annoying. It's that, yeah, it's very annoying for sure. So yeah, you got all your live well and bilge stuff right here on this side. On this side, you have your lights, all your nav lights, um, your deck kind of deck lights. And actually what's really weird about Trident is they have a sonar button. So for your like units and stuff to work, you have to turn the, that button on. Yeah, which it's on, it's on a it's on an individual uh, panel basically. It's really weird, but I mean, hey, it's what it is. Um, and Dad sold some of his Hummingbird units and got a flat screen TV. So, so the dash he's running, the dash unit he's running is a Hummingbird Helix 15 Gen 4. Um, still getting it dialed in, but I mean it's a brand new unit. Got to get it dialed in. And uh, yeah, buyer beware. Some of these new generation head units are having some issues with the icon, GPS yeah, and the icon and navigation line not matching up. Yep. I've been on the phone with Hummingbird now for the last week trying to figure out what's going on with that, but we'll get that settled out some one way or another. Yeah, it's been a little rough, but we'll get it. We'll get it done. But uh, yeah, that's the unit we're running right here. Obviously, for our side scan, down scan, maps, whatever we need it for. Um, heck of a unit. Looks like a TV. So you're seeing all the fish clearly. Um, down here is where the key switch is. As you can see, the key switch is in here. Um, you got your little like port aux for yeah aux charging. Charge yeah, you know you you, you got a USB port and that little port. Um, you got a switch for the power poles. This boat did come with eight foot power poles, so you got a uh, switch right here up and down, easy access for the poles. And Dad's got some uh, little rocking out radio going on right here. You got a, what is that called? Clarion? Clarion, yep. Clarion. So turn that on, rock out some tunes while you're on the uh, 4th of July, having a good time. You got a speaker right here Bumping it. on this side for the passenger. Where's the other speaker at? I think it's back up underneath there. Oh, uh, okay. All right then. All right, that's the middle compartment. Let's move back to the uh, back. Let's get to my favorite part. Oh gosh. All right, you guys, so obviously for tournaments and uh, just in case you catch a big fish for some pictures, you got your live wells here. So this boat has, um, it does not have a conjoined live well. They're two separate live wells. So one on this side, one on this side. Dad, looks like dad already put his coal beam on here for the, or not coal beam, put his coal tag thing on here for all his coal tags for tournaments. These freaking live wells are huge. I always brag about my nitro and having a big live well on my boat, but these, these, <laughs> these things are huge. Massive. These things are massive. So it's gonna hold a good bit of water for them tournaments and keep them fish alive. And they have built-in aerators. Oh yeah, true, they do have built-in aerators. I'm not really sure exact oxygenators rather, right there. Mm -hmm. Not real sure yet how to. We're, gonna have to. we're just gonna fiddle with it. Yep. But uh, yeah, huge live wells, keeping the fish alive. Need that for a uh, need that for the tournaments. So uh, yeah, those two compartments. Now we got these two compartments right here. Typical, just traditional back storage. Yep, these are going to be your back storages. You know, we got the hummingbird covers on them. Keep them in there. Life jacket, uh, tackle trays, anything you need. These are freaking giant as well, so you won't have a problem storing a lot of stuff in there. You know, bibs, whatever, man. Giant storage back here. So. And it has obviously a giant back deck. So who's ever fishing on the back deck has plenty of room to fish. So that's those right there. And uh, most most of the latches have locks on them. Obviously, obviously you want to lock your things in case you're in some kind of shady area. You don't want to get your stuff stolen. So those have locks, which is key. And then we have the last compartment back here, which is the battery compartment, obviously. Got a little tray right here for tools or anything you need to store in here. So as you guys can see, dad switched all his batteries, his lithium batteries from his old boat 
to the new boat, obviously you want to do that because uh, you're not just going to sell the old boat with the lithiums. You're just going to put some old piece of crap batteries in the old boat. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously you're going to switch your batteries over. Um, got all the lithiums, the ionics, got the, the NOCO Genius battery charger, got the power pole pumps in here. It's actually pretty cool how they designed this. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was made by design for that, yeah. but that's like an awesome place. They, it's like a cutout. Yeah, it's like a shelf. Yeah, it's like a cutout shelf. With you got one shelf on this side and one shelf on that side. It just almost went in the water, dude. Probably to keep the back of the boat balanced. But yeah, you got the two big batteries back there, cranking battery, graph batteries. So yeah. They're actually paralleled together right now to make one super battery until I can get that. So that is the back compartment and we are back to the final part of the boat. The best. The beast, the Merc 250 Pro XS, four stroke. Let me, let me go ahead and uh, turn this thing on so, to uh, show them boys, the boys and gals. Show them boys and gals what this freaking beast sounds like. As you guys could hear, that thing freaking purrs like a lion. You know, roar. I think I've told them several times in the past videos that we've done how tired I am of, of getting people past. blown by me during these tournaments. That's one of the main thing for this boat, guys, is uh, Dad, the facial expression that you saw on Dad when I looked over and everybody was passing us during the tournaments. Is he, he just got pissed every time. <laughs> and I can understand that. Obviously, you don't want to get beat to the spot on tournaments. So one of the reasons Dad's got this boat, obviously, is because of 250. Um, the same probably, I don't know, what at the top, like 73? Probably, if it if it didn't. Just, just. If my jack plate was adjusted right, I'd probably do 72. So yeah, this this thing, I forgot to mention that too. It has a jack plate on it, it's is, manual. but it's a manual jack plate. It's not automatic, so. We need to, you know, get that fixed because the boat like does like that wobble like mine does. So uh, we need to get that adjusted. Um, and yeah, that's it for the boat tour reveal. Hope you guys like it. And uh, man, I love it. So far, I love it. Yeah. Um, the one thing I want to mention too is how the boat is made. One thing that I really like how the boat is made is, as you can see on the sides on each side, it's it's like it's made really deep. And it comes up high on the deck and then it just kind of shallows off at the very front. Just in case you lift the compartment lid up, the rods aren't freaking, you know, jumping over the deck. You got the little thing right there to keep them on. And uh, yeah, kind of a little safety feature too, just in case you trip. That might, you know, hold you on. Um, just more space, so a yeah. better design. Yeah. All right, you guys, that is the boat reveal. I hope you guys like it. We love it. The whole design of the boat is awesome. And yeah, she's a freaking beast. And uh, she's going to do well for us in the tournaments and just everyday fishing. I will see you guys later. On to the fishing clips. All right, y'all. Out here. Found a nice school. Testing out the new Hummingbird unit. And, uh, yeah. Dad just cracked into this two-pounder for the first fish on the new boat. Fish bomb. on the new boat. Let's go. Let's get a little picture with him. Heck, yeah. Nice little, nice good color. Getting the release. This guy going. He's through enough. Alright, my guy, thank you for being the first one on the boat. You won't be the last, I promise you. <laughs> Gone. Nice, sir. man. Nice. Yes, sir. First on the boat. Let's get a more. storm right here, boys. But that's good fishing. Let's get back in there. He is moving the other direction. I almost had the first fish on the boat. You didn't guys get to see it, but I, he can't I lost himself. one. He can't help himself. He let me get my own first fish. I lost one, man. I lost one, but he got off. It was like a two pounder, but yeah, we're going to keep going. Um, I need to put my hat on. Excuse the hair, boys. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Oh, wow. You got one? I reeled. I was reeling up to freaking recast. How's it feel? Actually feels good. They all feel good out here, though. Yeah, that's hilarious. I was reeling up the record. He must have been following it for a while. 
Oh yeah, he's good, dude. He's like a four pounder. Just down there and get him. <laughs> Where's that net at? Hand me that net. That's hilarious. I know there's some big marks in there. Oh, you're fumbling, Dad. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Four pounder. Out of the new boat. My fish out of my first fish out of the new boat. Oh, stop flopping. Oh, he's got it deep though. He ain't coming off. He's got it deep. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. There you go. That'd be a good Thursday night or wouldn't it? Heck yeah. Is there another like shaky head in his mouth? Because I'm telling you, the last one that bit me. Heck yeah, boys! Good. Look at that. Nice high three, four pounder. What's the weight on this sucker? All right, y'all. First fish on Dad's boat for me. That's right. Step it up, Dad. Four pounder. Nice fish. Heck yeah. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Here we go. There she goes. Four rounder. Four rounder. Let's go, boys. We get in this boat nice and checked in. We're gonna keep fishing and uh, keep seeing if we can catch these biggie biggies. Water's calming down. Water's yeah, it is. That storm's, the storm's turning them on, boys. See if we can catch some bigger ones. Let's go. Let's go. You got one? How is he? Uh, you got one, bro? Got another. You got one? Calm down. Another one for the boat. What number is that? Look how fat that fish is, dude. Yeah. Oh what number gosh. is that? That's number three that we got in the boat. Number five that we've had on. Thank you, my guy. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Gone. He was catching them. You know what's crazy is with that 15, that like 12 looks small. Small as crap. Like really small. So sad to say. Got one. Yep. Dude, he, wow. he hit it on the paws, dude. That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> no! Dude, why are you dancing? And that's that insane, in dude. Bottle, that was so sick. You Did you see? Yeah. Yes. Did you see my rod, Dad? Did you see my rod? I just felt him destroy it. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Got one? I got one. Yep. Dude, that looked good. Yeah, it feels good. Dude, that's good. Is that good? It feels good. Hey, it's a decent one. Get the name. School fired up, my guy. Yeah. Dude. Smashing them out on the new boat, bro. Dude, next. <laughs> this new boat's getting them hype. It's getting it. Nice. I mean, that's All right. what, number five? Number four, I think, in the boat. Number like six or seven that we've lost. All right. All right, my guy. Thank you. Appreciate it, my guy. <laughs> to reach. It's not out there. Straight in front of us, like it's not, that's not way out there. I feel like looking at that map right there, it like we were pointed like right at that stump with the bush on it. Right there. Hmm. I mean, one day when we we're out here scanning, I was like, Look at this, Keith, what, what, what's going on? Like, my boat, it looks like it's freaking power sliding sideways. You know? What do you say? He was just like, He just started laughing. He was like, Got one? Dude, that's a good one. You got one? Yes. That's a good one. I think. You film? You want me to get a thing? You can film. I hooked him good. He should be good. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he's a good one. I told you, bro. When they're on the spot, they're freaking big. At least he feels big. I don't know. They all fight the same out here, so. Oh, yeah, dude. He's like a five. You see his mouth? Yeah.
Yep. It might have been right out there. Get up in that trolling motor. No, he's over here. Yeah. They're big out here. Four pounder. Another four. Huh? Huh? That might be a five. I'm about to say, I think that's bigger than a four, bro. Golly. That's a four. Oh no, it might be five. Heck yeah, boys. Let's go. Breaking in the new boat with a couple of fours and five pounders. Freaking line stuck in that thing. Heck yeah. Look at that girl. Beautiful girl. Stick her in the live world real quick. I wanna get a weight on her. Yep. Four, one, four, two. Nice fill. So we got two four pounders so far. We'll leave that full just in case we catch another five pounder. <laughs> All right, guys, look at that. Look at the belly on her. Fat girl, thank you so much. Now, I need you to bite again during a Thursday nighter or a regular tournament, either one. All right, let's let her go, guys. Another look on this beast. Thank you, girl. Yeah, as soon as I freaking hook set and she, I went, couldn't barely move her, I was like, yeah, she's a good one. She goes. All right, you guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. Appreciate you guys for watching this video. I'm very excited for dad's new boat. I'm sure you're excited. How you feeling, bro? Hi. Your overall view of this boat, one out of 10 right now. One out of 10? As it sits right now. I mean, it's gotta be an eight for me just because this is my first like big boat. Yeah. You know, 20 foot plus boat. So yeah. This is my first boat with the 250, the Pro XS 250 on it. Merc. I mean, big boy on there, big mama. You know, honestly, I love everything about it at this juncture. I haven't really fished it long enough to find the Kirk, uh, quirks, find the quirks of the boat. But I mean, I love the separate live wells. Pretty daggum solid, man. I love the separate live wells. The cooler is freaking awesome. It actually keeps ice cold for days and not just, you know, hours like the old boat did. Mm -hmm. um, the casting deck is phenomenal. Giant. You really can't beat. Absolutely giant casting I would deck. I literally get tired of standing right next to you, having to deal with your, your All right. hook set and this in isn't, my chest and This face. isn't a criticizing, this is an outro, not a criticizing uh, session. But honestly, really, truthfully, I think the thing I love the most about this boat is the colors. I love the color scheme on it. If we could ever get the units figured out. Speaking of which, we might be making a road trip soon. If we can't get that figured out, but I love it. So far, I love the boat. What do you think? You fished out of it. All right, you guys, you heard it from him. The man himself, the boat owner of this boat. He loves it. And my overall view of it is freaking sick. I love the layout of the boat. Um, like like you said, the separate live wells and the casting deck is giant on it. Uh, it rides very well. Uh, rides very well. And handles chop really well. The way it's made, I don't know how the way it's made handles chop really well. So, um, yeah, and I'm sure you're really excited to have the dual axle trailer too instead of having that single axle trailer. It pulls way better except for the fact that, you know, I got a tire going flat. But. Yeah, it's all right. You got a spare. I got a spare. I'm about to go on it. All right, you guys, that's going to wrap it up. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. We're on our way to 10,000 subscribers. So if you do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button down below so you get notified when I upload. Also, we're doing an SLX DC giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. So we're almost there. We only need like 300 more subscribers. And uh, we'll get out to one of you guys and uh, let you guys get that feel of that SLX DC. We actually have a tournament this coming up weekend. We're going to be fishing out of this beast out there. So you excited for that? I am. So, 
first first full day tournament on this boat and uh, we're gonna see how the live whales hold up see if they can keep, keep those fish alive because the water is really hot right now so we'll see how it goes and uh, yeah I'll see you guys later and as always keep slapping them